have spent so much time self-sabotaging. So my biggest fear as a business owner is, am I going to sabotage my own success now that I have 50 or 60 people who are depending on me to put food on their table? And my fear of failure, uh, Brandon's been a godsend. He has been able to say, Sean, quit beating yourself up and just stay focused. Um, my key to success is to do exactly what this man told me to do so that I can blame him when it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple. Um, and, and that's the approach that I took in my own recovery with a sponsor. That's the, that's the approach that I've taken with this. Um, I'm not afraid to get out there and work so much like most of you. You're not afraid to do the footwork. I just needed somebody to, sh to, to I needed somebody to point me in the right direction. I needed somebody to, that, that I can talk to on the phone that I know genuinely can, genuinely cares about me and my family that can say, Sean, I don't care how your ass got in the ditch. Do you want out or not? And he's been able to teach me to stay focused on steady progress in the right direction. And the fact that if the car's moving, sooner or later it's gonna go somewhere. And just be happy it's moving. Um, my first year I came to Brandon, I didn't have a list. Didn't really know what Excel was much, except for that was one of those computer programs that I didn't really know how to operate. But I'm intelligent. I don't give myself enough credit there. I figured it out. I went through a bunch of old, old estimates that I, I'd done over, and, and, and old jobs and customer names that I had accumulated over about eight or nine years of me, a paintbrush, and one or two sober drunks. And... Uh, I compiled a list of names and I come up with about 175 names. We did 203,000 that year. No, correction, 205 in 2014. Um, didn't feel like, and I still don't feel like that I'm getting my cut out of that. But 2015, through the core five principles only, and I'm gonna tattletale on myself like, uh, what was it, Torrance? <laughs> You know, my customers get about six to, uh, five to six newsletters a year. Um, I, I just space them out about every other month because my tight, cheap thoughts were, well, if I just send January and March, then I can use February's next year. <laughs> <laughs> Truth comes out, but I got, I got results because I did my newsletters. I called my customers. And uh, I really don't know what else to say, but thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, figure out what Sean does in his free time. It was not very sneaky. What do you do in your free time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do any of work. 